being stationary. Hey, Mr. Gabriel. Bet I know that's from my angel. Yeah, Jennifer really loves it out there at Steph, yeah. doesn't she? Blame her. It's an exciting place. I guess. I mean, I know. I mean, I just wish she were a little more homesick, that's all. I'm sorry, you're probably not the person I should be talking to about this. <laughs> no, I'm flattered. You know, I think you're the first person to ever ask me advice about women. Lie? In walks the reason why. <laughs> I mean, it was uh, just on my way. Where, Clyde? Where were you just on Home, way? Felicia. I was just on my way. Home. Home. And is that supposed to make me feel better? You know, there are days when I can't imagine my life getting any worse. My God! And yet somehow it always does. Get <coughs> alone this place. Come along, Clyde. We're leaving. Well, well. Look who we got here. Don't tell me. Seriously. Fiona. Baruka! <laughs> Felicia! I think I prefer Baruka. <laughs> Honestly, some days it just doesn't pay to get out of bed. <laughs> You're preaching to the choir, sweetheart. Ooh, don't look so sour. Here! Have a chill. Keep your fruit to yourself, Mr. Van Horn. What did I ever do to warrant such animosity? To me? Nothing. To this town, plenty. Christ. Are you still go are you still babbling about those goddamn bluegrass? Those birds are an endangered species, Mr. Van Horn. And thanks to you, they have no place to live. Who oh, fucking who? Actually, Mrs. Gabriel, there are dead elm trees all across the bay. They could nest anywhere. My perspective, given your upbringing, I don't fully expect you to understand this, but jumping from bed to bed does not a home make. So why don't you attend to the dirty cutlery and leave the good of this town to those of us who know better? You don't get much, do you? I beg your pardon? Listen, honey, this town, hell, life itself. It's like this cherry. Everywhere you care to look is bright, juicy, sweet red flesh. Yours for the enjoying. Mmm. Mm. But some people, people like you, always think all they know is the pity. Pity. If I thought for one moment. <laughs> me, or are the women in this town a little tense? I mean, Jesus Christ, is there not one man in this town that knows how to satisfy a woman? No. <laughs> <laughs> Smuffin, huh? I know your mom. I know you do. You have a smile, or you would if you were actually smiling, white your face. Girlfriend problems. You know how it is. Not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you really understand women, huh? Hey, maybe you could... No. Don't worry. Son, want my help? You have to ask for it. You have to lift up that non-existent chin, swallow that girlish pride, and say, uh, Mr. Van Horn, help me. <laughs> Mr. Van Horn, help me. <laughs> Call me, Daryl. <laughs> Class is in session. You might want to take some notes there, Scooter. It's Michael. No one cares. <laughs> Devil in you and you and you and you. 
I'm loving the dress code. So, who's up for dipping the pool? Oh, Daryl, how about we skip the pool for one night? And the brandy. And the hot tub. So what? What did you gals come over for then? I feel like such a whore. <laughs> it couldn't hurt to be a little more discreet. This again. There's been a little talk in, in town. A little talk? They're just being babies, Daryl. I haven't heard a thing. Well, they're not going to say it to our faces, are they? I know they're talking. Call it intuition. Call it paranoia. Guys, come on. You're doing it again, Alex. Just when you're starting to add a little size to your work, you're a little thing to bring you back down to earth. What about education? Agreed. Why don't you teach us something new tonight, Daryl? Maybe chapter seven, Puppets and Voodoo Dolls. Doesn't that you that out? <laughs> Doesn't she ever knock? <laughs> Holy crap! The Eastwick Preservation Society is suing me for zoning violations. God damn it! Do you know how many town council yahoos I had to grease to make this place livable? Poor baby. Let's take off those pajamas. And a front to nature. And a front to nature. Jesus H. Christ! I painted the backyard green! What the hell do they want from me? You see, too many people know, Daryl. Alicia gave me your chance. Mission a little hoppy. That, that woman has got the whole town on a tight leash. But there's no telling what she can do if she puts her nasty little mind to it. And you keep robbing her. She's got a real issue, too, here with this whole wetlands business. Yeah? Well, someone ought to fit in her wetlands. This just proves my point. No, this just proves my point. But then, oh! Battle Axe is doing everything she can to ruin our lives. She's hated us from the get-go. All of us. Michael, too. That <laughs> awful, awful woman. One of these days, it's gonna get hers. And I'd love to be the one to give it to her. <laughs> Ladies! Consider this a midterm exam. <laughs> Let's do it. Half a pen, scraps of tin, and a ball of purple thread, toenail clippings, and some tats, and a spider once instead, cherry pips, bits of paper, and ancient cans of Diet Coke, broken bottles, half a crayon, I of newt. That was a joke. <laughs>
don't have the balls. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, Tyler's gross is great. This is all the doing of that man, you know. That Daryl Van Horn. You know what he does in that house with those women, don't you? No, that's not any of my business. He sucks them quite all of them. Jay Smart, that spotted bitch. Oh, no, sweetness. And hardest of all, he gives it to your precious Suki Rouge, my Suki Rouge. That's right. Please. 